Stacey Patey of theinspiredoffice.com. I'm a professional organizer helping people for the most part with paper offices, going digital. However, many of my clients also want help in other areas of their life, other areas of their house and decluttering and going minimal. And it's something I have a tremendous amount of experience with from earlier years as an organizer, but um, most specifically because it's something I'm always doing for myself. Um, like you, there are things that I can sort of let go of with ease and speed. And then there are the other things that lurk behind the scenes and in the closets and drawers and boxes that take up space, even though they're things that I, I don't use anymore. Uh, for those of you who have been watching these videos for a while now, you may remember some videos where I refer back to my years as a study abroad student, or the, the months as a study abroad student spent in the tropical paradise of Bali, Indonesia. The best months of my life were, were spent back in the year 2000 when I studied abroad there. And I've been back a couple of times since, and every time I have gone, it's been more than 10 years now, but I bring back little pieces of Bali and those have been extremely hard to part with. So I'm, I'm gonna still keep doing it though because there are many things from those trips that I have kept that I love, that I hold dear, that I will display and I will keep forever. Um, it's just that those things are becoming more clear to me, making it a little easier for me to part with the things from that time in my life that I'm not going to use. So this is kind of a big video. It's it's a big unloading because I'm getting rid of not one dozen, but two dozen Balinese pillowcases. I, I used these quite a bit over the years. It's just that with my own aesthetic at home and design sense becoming more clean and more minimal, I've realized that these um, just haven't gotten any airtime. They've spent most of their years in my crawl space never seeing the light of day. I've got batiks, I've got silks, I've got ecots, I've got weaves, I've got big queen size batiks in all shapes and sizes. So um, some of you may be thinking something that somebody voiced once on my channel and that is uh, she almost said verbatim, you know, we see you sitting against a white wall getting rid of all these bright, colorful, beautiful things of sentimental value. Your house must be completely stark and heartless. Not true at all. Keep in mind that you are only seeing one, one side of me. You're seeing the things that I get rid of and I'm getting rid of them really in mass all at once because I, I make these videos and I set them aside and, you know, do the videos all at once and then things go out the door all at once. But what you're not seeing is all of the things that I keep. And because I am actually so sentimental and hold so many beautiful things near and dear to me, um, it, it does make for a home that's full of stories and um, items with patina and a, a lot of joy in the curated collection that I've, I've chosen to, to keep. So it's not so much that you know, my house is becoming more and more sterile because I'm getting rid of these. It's that the things I, I choose to keep, I feel like really have a spotlight on them now. And they're really coming to life because they stand out without this backdrop of all of these other pieces that I don't use. So I know full well that I, you know, used to have these big, really beautiful pillowcases, um, you know, with pillows in them spread out all over my bedroom floor. And it was beautiful, but for whatever reason, I'm simply not doing that now. And it's, it's time to let them go. And I still have probably a dozen other Balinese sarongs that are not cut. They're just completely raw material. And most of those I will keep forever because they're so beautiful and there are stories attached to each and every one of those. So just because you see me getting rid of 24 pillowcases today doesn't mean that I don't still have dozens of items from this trip that I, I love even more and I will keep forever. So this, this is hard. This is a box that I have pulled out many, many times a year ever since I started filling it back in the very early 2000s. 
and there just came a day a while back where I thought, you know what, again, if I want to walk the walk, I need to get rid of anything that I'm not using. And I'm simply not using them. And uh, actually in talking through it right now in real time, it's I think going to be a lot easier than I thought to part with them. So thank you for bearing witness and watching this. And with this video more than more than any other, I think I do want to hear from you guys. And what I specifically want to hear about are collections. And um, if you have a collection that you're ready to part with, we're not just talking getting rid of one, two or three things, but do you have a dozen, two dozen, three dozen items of a similar sort that you are finally ready to get rid of? Um, I'm not keeping a single pillowcase. I've had my fiance and a couple of friends talk through these boxes of pillowcases with me a number of times where I've said, well, maybe I'll just keep uh, this collection or maybe I'll just keep this collection. And they've said, no, if you're going to get rid of one, get rid of them all because you don't use them. And that's true. And I, I want to you know, send the same words to those of you with collections that you're not loving, that you're not displaying, that you're not using anymore. So again, please share with me and all of my viewers in the comments a story about a collection that you are finally ready to let go of because I am getting rid of 24 beautiful handmade Balinese pillowcases. Can't wait to read them. Again, this is Casey Patey of theinspiredoffice.com. Head on over to my site to learn much more. I have very specific tips on how to live a more beautiful, functional, minimal life. Again, thanks for stopping by. Thank mm -hmm. you.